Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Trey at TAE Entertainment giving you another college football news update. This one coming from out of Auburn, Alabama. Byron Coward, number one. Well, they top recruit in 2015 wanting a request release from the program, which is what you kind of figure because Auburn ain't too good of a program this year. And um, he wanting to request his release from the Auburn program. Um, just jump right into it. This is reported, a report from the Bleacher Report. And um, Auburn defensive tackle Byron Coward is seeking a release from Auburn to play football somewhere else. Multiple sources report and told Auburn undercover Monday night the former five-star recruit has not yet been granted the release. However, Coward has been granted his release and is no longer part of the program. Coward has not lived up to his height as the 24-7 composite's number one, I mean, excuse me, number three overall player in the class of 2015. The junior has totaled only 15 tackles in his 26-game career, including one tackle in a 24-10 victory over Mercer last week. Auburn coach Gus Malzahn is scheduled to speak to reporters at his weekly press conference today at 11:15. Coaches were hopeful that from a defensive end to a tackle will be beneficial to Coward's slow start in college football. He bulked up, added some weight, and appeared ready to crack the rotation as a junior, but has been a backup for the third straight season. He's still got time defensive tackle Dontavious Russell said before the season opener. We've still got two years, so I feel like he'll be fine as far as that goes, and I feel like this year he's going to do what he needs to do. When it gets to your turn to play, you play, you play better, so it's his turn. Defensive line coach Rodney Gardner has long said he's believed too much you know, hype had was placed on Coward. A lot of that right there have you guys have to put on Byron, which is unfair. Gardner told reporters in the spring, I'm just going to be honest with you. He's a young man that's embracing the process. The thing about it is I will say he is improving. I do think the decision to move him inside has helped him. It's more suited for his skill set. I've been impressed but with Byron that has brought him to it that he's embracing it and that he's coming out of every day just trying to better and not worrying about the expectations that were put on him unrealistically. By the recruiting services, some kids develop faster than others. That's the thing that I told him. You just need to embrace the process and try to come out of every single day and let's try to get a little bit better. I like the way he approaches the spring. I think he's made progress and if he'll continue to do that, then he is going to be okay. So Byron McCoward is out of Auburn, y'all. Um, a team that's really, really struggling. He had so many opportunities against Clemson. Got by the skin half. If Mercer had a more explosive offense, they would have probably beaten Auburn at Auburn's place. And then they're just struggling now that Byron McCoward, even though he was a backup, but you need all the bodies you can for a whole year. Is is grand for his release. It's gonna be very interesting where he goes, and it's gonna be very interesting for the Auburn team. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Comment at the bottom, please. Check out the link at the bottom as well, and definitely subscribe to my channel for more news updates. I'll let y'all peace.